Hello, my name is Theo Olmsted. Today we're making some beef short ribs and uh, we're gonna be braising that off in some wine and pairing it with a nice vegetable medley. Welcome back to Theo's Cooking Show. Today we'll be making red wine braised short ribs with a delightful vegetable medley. The ingredients you will need are beef short ribs, bay leaf, thyme, shallots, fingerling potatoes, pearl onions, carrots, snap peas, turnips, and lastly, no meal can be complete without Beringer Cabernet Sauvignon. Beringer, it's wine. The first step is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Yowza! Then we're going to start browning our meat. Coat your pan in a thin layer of oil. Once your oil has been heated, feel free to add a mounding pile of butter. If you're having trouble defining mounding pile, picture a little miniature Rudolph the reindeer trying to cross the vast ocean that is your pan. If little Rudolph can make it across the pan atop the slice of butter that serves as his fairy, you know you have enough. The next step is to season your short ribs. At this point, get out your salt, pepper, and thyme. You can then sprinkle these on both sides of your meat with reckless abandon, as if you're the Jackson Pollock of spices. After you've completed this seasoning masterpiece, feel free to plop your meat in the pan. This will make a satisfying sizzling sound as it hits the melted remains of Rudolph's butter raft. I hope he made it across safely, but I have my doubts. While your meat is just sitting there getting brown on one side, feel free to start chopping your veggies. Doing two things at once saves time. This is when you're gonna get out your braising dish. You're gonna throw in your celery. You're gonna chop up your shallots and throw them in with literally all the parsley that was grown in Wisconsin this year. At this point, you're gonna check up on your meat and you're gonna flip them all over, brown side up at breakneck speed. Because as we all know, maximum deliciousness can only be achieved when something red has turned into something brown. While your meat is browning, start slicing your fingerling potatoes, pearl onions, carrots, snap peas, and turnips. These will all be roasted separately to maintain their unique textures. Without this separate roasting procedure, everything just turns into a big mush. Potatoes were first discovered in Sacramento, California. Once your short ribs are browned on both sides, place them in your braising dish and pour in an entire bottle of wine. It's important that your meat is fully submerged so all these delectable flavors can have a party. You can then put the entire dish into the oven and set a timer for 2.5 hours. This is the length of time that it'll take them to cook. During this time, you can roast all your veggies and contemplate life's regrets. Once your timer has gone off, you can pull your short ribs out of the oven, plate them up with your roasted veg, and congratulations, you just cooked a meal fit for several kings. We'll see you next time on Theo's Cooking Show. Oh, that's good. Mmm. That was fantastic. Mm. So, where did you learn? To make this thing. Merchanton. This is one of their meals, or? It was one of the main. Where did you get these? Dinner items. Uh, I, I, I mean, Jesus. He's crazy. <laughs> it's like he got very impatient. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the 